Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. So, as you guys know, things have been crazy lately. Gyms are no longer a thing. We cannot be going out anymore. So that is gonna have an effect in our daily lives. And so because of this situation, my morning routine has shifted a little bit. I'll admit, I have been getting a little bit lazier. I'm not really proud of it, but you know, we're all humans. But with the situation going on, because of that, I think you should try and do your best to try and keep things as normal as possible, just so that you stay mentally healthy. And I feel like you guys might find this video helpful. And so that is why today we are going to talk about my current morning routine during quarantine. Some of you guys might find it useful. Also, this video is sponsored by Curology. We'll talk about them later in the video. Also, fair warning to you guys, I look like a caveman. Just be aware of that. Um, in this video, you'll see me cut my hair and I did make that video. So you guys are gonna see a hair cutting tutorial very soon. Oh, today's video. I'm talking about morning routine. It's 5.14. Currently as I'm filming this, I woke up at five and I had to set up this stupid camera. So I'm, I'm running a little late. All right, so at this point in time, I'm really just chilling there waiting for the water to boil. Sometimes I fall asleep for like 10 minutes or so and I wish my mornings were very smooth and perfect, but you know, I'm human, you're human, it's gonna happen. Don't even trip. Yeah, pro tip guys, get a French press. You wait two minutes, then you press it down, you got instant coffee right there. And so I usually just stand here for like two minutes waiting for this because there's nothing better to do until I drink my coffee. <laughs> All right, so this is what I normally do is I come outside, drink my coffee. I know there's like a stigma of people who who get up early, ooh. That's like the most generic advice for people to improve their lives. But I'm just a morning person. You don't have to get up early. There are times where I wake up at seven or eight and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to challenge yourself, I say, hey, why not try and wake up early for once? And I usually come back upstairs to work out after the coffee kicks in. And so I have... Still yawning. You guys hear that? Don't tell me this thing is going off on the day I start filming. Son of a... Please stop. I think it stopped. Alright, cool. Right now we're gonna get a workout in. All right, so my workouts are full body workouts still at home. I only do full body workouts currently. I have a pull-up bar with gymnastic rings. You guys don't really need this, but I'd say a pull-up bar is necessary because it's kind of hard to do pull-ups in your house with that one. If you guys have a right angle in your countertop, that's where you can be doing your dips if you can't afford gymnastic rings like I got. This, this is when I drink a lot of water, at least like a, a liter and a half. So that's why I like working on the mornings. You're super dehydrated, drink a lot of water. It's a good start to your day. Get your fluids in, get your workout out of the way. And more often than not, this is what I look like after doing a few sets. It's kind of weird, but I like laying there. That's how I rest up. If you guys don't have any form of resistance, get a backpack. Use your old college textbooks so they actually get some use. At least for me, I didn't find any use in, in college for them. <laughs> so now they're getting their use. And depending on the day, I'm either listening to some music or a podcast for whenever I do cardio. And then in between sets, I am just like you. I will browse through memes, but I try not to rest for like five minutes in between sets. That's ridiculous. I finish my cardio. I usually walk out and there's usually a sunrise. That's not here right now. Fortunately for me here in New Mexico, it is pretty warm out. So I'm usually just outside browsing through emails, again, more memes, and then I try and think about the rest of my day because there's typically a lot on my plate, and I just need that peace, man. Yeah, I think you guys might actually find, you know, waking up early beneficial just because everyone else is asleep. 
um, and it's hard nowadays to avoid the, the freaking media. It's quiet out, your phone's not blowing up, you don't have to watch the news. And to me, having a good start to your day is like a good stepping stone to having a better day. I don't know, not many people wake up early and do this. Feels good. Although it fucking sucks waking up early and I miss my five o'clock alarm all, a lot, it feels good. So, you guys should try it out. Some of you guys might be asking, Hey Johnny, why don't you eat breakfast? I don't eat breakfast. I usually don't eat for a while until like 12 or 1. I'm never hungry. That's my problem. That's why it's really hard for me to bulk up. The only thing I consume is coffee and cream, but the cream doesn't have calories because that's um, sugar-free. This is perfect if you guys are trying to cut or anything like that, I'm trying to lean down. You know, summer is coming, even though we can't really do anything. Can't go to the beach or do anything fun. <laughs> But, you know, it's always good to try to keep in good shape. All right, so now is the time I usually consume a lot of media. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. But right now, I like to keep track of what's going on with COVID-19. Um, and then I, I actually, I've actually been keeping track of um, all the cases in my state just to see uh, what the next step is. This is when I watch a lot of YouTube videos. It's either going to be, you know, Mighty Car Mods. It might be the nightly news broadcast. I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. I even watch some of Casey Neistat's old vlogs. Don't be so hard on yourself because you're watching, you know, stuff. <laughs> I find it helps me, you know, relax a little bit and I can be more aware of what's going on. To finish watching the news and all that good stuff. And now I have to set up the bathroom to film this haircut tutorial. So I'm not getting two birds once done filming this video filming the haircut video, so. All right guys, so I just finished cutting my hair. I don't look like a caveman anymore. I look decent, all right? So, I'm gonna take a shower now and then I'm gonna brush my teeth, do all my grooming and all that. All right, fellas, we just got done showering. We're about to style the hair, but first, um, I'm gonna do my skincare routine and what you wanna do first since I already touched the towel and all that after I showered, I touched the doorknob. You wanna wash your hand skin and then you wanna wash your face with warm water. That way it opens up the pores so that the skincare products can absorb and fix your skin. The worst thing you can do to your skin is apply products with a dirty hand. That's how you get acne. Um, I have acne right now because of stress, but that's okay. All right, rinse your face. Now I'm gonna be using the skincare products from our sponsor today. Curology. So, cut to the ad. Alright guys, this video is sponsored by Curology. I'm sure you guys have heard of them, but if you haven't, Curology is a subscription-based skincare brand that allows you to get all your skincare needs on a consistent basis, so you don't have to reorder anything or have to run to the store, because that is the worst thing you can do right now. That ain't it. I'm gonna avoid the stores at all costs right now. But anyways, on the low, I have been using Curology for the better part of around two months or so, and honestly, I really do enjoy using their skincare system. Because here's what's awesome about Curology and what makes them different. In the box that you receive after signing up, you're going to get a cleanser to clean your face without clogging it, a moisturizer to hydrate your skin, and here's the best part, your own personalized night cream that is created just for you and your specific skin. Basically, you're going to want to think of it like getting your own custom suit, but for your face. With the suit, everyone's got their own dimensions. Some people have broader shoulders, some people have a bigger chest, some people have a slimmer waist, some people have a wider waist. In order for a suit to fit and look good, you have to get it custom made for you. And how it works, at the time you sign up, Curology is going to ask you a bunch of questions, like a ton of questions. And as annoying as surveys are in general, I am actually glad that they asked me a ton of questions. Like what kind of skin do you have? Is it oily? Is it dry? They'll ask you what problems are you trying to solve or what you're looking for with your future skin? Because asking all these questions is going to help your dermatology provider to get to know your specific skin more. That way they can formulate the perfect night cream that is perfect for your specific skin type. Like for me, I've always suffered from really, really dry skin. I answered that in the survey. And also hyperpigmentation, which is like lighter spots and darker spots on your face and I've definitely seen a difference using my specific formula and that definitely feels really good like you know when someone you haven't talked to in a really long time just hits you up randomly with a copy and paste text or something like that asking for a favor yeah that don't feel right just like I wouldn't like getting a copy and paste skincare product even though my skin is unique and different from everyone else's and just like you I definitely have problems with my skin and where I want it to be and so whenever you get your box you're going to get a specific bottle with your name on it all of the active ingredients used in your specific formula it's actually really cool to look at plus it even says the name of your specific dermatology provider Lacey you're the MVP. And once you create your account, you're going to have a whole page of information about your specific skin and your recommended routine. You know, getting 
your skin adjusted to your specific formula and all that. So it's just really nice to have a process already and not have to think. Plus, I can always connect with my specific dermatology provider if I have any questions. And also, he or she can always tweak your formula as your skin improves, which I find awesome about them. And fellas, this does sound pricey. I understand, but you can get your own free trial kit that also includes your specific formula. So it's not going to be the same kit as everyone else's. And all you're gonna have to do is pay the shipping and handling fee of $4.95. That's like a cup of coffee, bro. So go ahead and click the link in the description. Check them out. I know times right now is very stressful. I understand. It really helps me out in the long term. So I wanna thank you guys in advance if you guys check them out or if you guys signed up. And just know that I really appreciate you guys and that's going to help my channel in the long term. And also, thank you, Curology for sponsoring this video next up i always apply some argan oil into my hair this is the product that saved my hair my hair was really looking really frail and damaged as you guys know in past videos but this has fixed my hair it also acts as a heat protective whatever you style your hair so that's what we're gonna do i'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to pick it up it's a heated brush um i thought i bought the all black one but it's a pink one and it's probably made for the ladies, but who cares? We're just gonna do the hair now. You guys don't get to see, but hair products I use, Suavecito. And that's really it. I use the hairbrush, an actual brush, and just some Suavecito, baby. Some of you guys might think this is, oh, that's so feminine. <laughs> look at Johnny. <laughs> hey man, I look more fly than you. All right guys, so the hair is styled. You know, the haircut was not, not too crazy, not too bad. Could some use some improvements on the fade, but whatever, right? So I just styled my hair. Now it's time to get ready. It's actually kind of late. <laughs> it's already 10 o'clock. I had problems with filming the video and all that. Uh, that added like another hour because normally I cut my hair in 30 minutes, but I have to set up shots and all that. So normally my morning routine doesn't consist of a haircut every morning, right? It doesn't grow that long every day. So normally I'd be done by eight o'clock, dressed and ready to work, and I'd work on scripts. But for now, since this is a different morning, a unique morning, kill two birds with one stone, I filmed two videos already, this one and a haircut cutting tutorial. Now we're gonna get dressed. Let's pick out an outfit. All right, fellas, this is the fit, nothing too crazy, Carhartt shirt. These are some Essentials cargo pants and then house slippers. I do not understand how you guys wear shoes in the house. Makes no sense to me. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, we got a Casio watch, rings, bracelets, you guys saw. Um, just simple color blocking. The reason why you want to get dressed, especially if you work from home, is because, you know, it gets it puts you in that mood. If I'm wearing sweats and a hoodie, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be playing some Animal Crossing, Counter-Strike, watching some stupid YouTube videos. Um, but whenever you get dressed up a little bit, you know, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Uh, it just puts you in that mood of wanting to, you know, do something more productive other than being lazy, which there is a time and place for that. Okay, don't get me wrong, I play CSGO and Animal Crossing, watch Star Wars all the time. So what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day is editing instead of scripting. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful or informative. Uh, my light just fell. If you guys found some value out of this, you know, my morning routine, it's just like a, it's nothing crazy. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, pretty raw. I took the camera at five o'clock and started filming when I was sleepy instead of uh, waking up all cinematically and beautifully. Uh, nothing wrong with that, that's just not real. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys found this uh, raw type of video, you know, helpful, valuable. And if you guys do wanna see more of these types of videos where I take you guys through my day or whatever, I do have a second channel, it's called More Johnny Ty. It's linked in the description, you guys can subscribe to it. I haven't uploaded anything yet, so I'll be posting videos on that channel as well as this channel. And so if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at FlowerJohnnyTai, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, turn the like button blue for the YouTube algorithm gods to show love to the channel. Okay, we want we want to hit 100k this year. And uh, and until then, stay fly, stay healthy, stay animosity free, check out Curology. I'm out, bro. Peace. <laughs>